Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games and do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you, you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below. Leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on. Right, until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi! Death Row, Chapter 4, Homestead Home. Now, what the fuck? The visitor drew the pin like device from her pocket, fun hovering over the switch that would bring the guards rushing into the room. A straight twist made the button most largely depressed, still not enough to engage the distress call, and the prisoner's eyes went wide. Wait! Don't! She saw as the four journalists were seeing the handheld staring away from her pocket. Don't leave me! Not again! Just, just heal me out, yeah? Please, Mass. There was a softness behind her desperate yet heartfelt words. The way she said Mass's name sent preservable yet uncomfortable chills through her, the brunette's body. It was like she was tripped bare and the prisoner could see past her sand and bones down to her very soul. Mass felt her innermost thoughts and secrets on full display from Dessa Grant's. As if she known this person her whole life. You? Master's chest rolled and scented, ill turning in and out like time had strolled to a crawl. Yes, me. The pearl's eyes remained last onto one another, with a fairy that bowed on half of the room, half of the woman in the room, neither is hurting. Welcome to Homestead Home. Like what I done with the place? It bobbed her head left and then white and then waved her chain hands as far up as she could. How do I know you? The brunette hesitated, confused and parlayed the visitor several years back. But as long as she worked towards the future, everything seemed fine. However, uncertainly about the pills connecting, put her thoughts towards searching through the past. Well, Mass, I'm not sure you're ready for the answer. Do me a favor, though. Stop taking those stupid pills away immediately. Fuck them. I know it sounds back sick crazy, but that guy isn't doing more harm than good for you. It makes me pause that would typically make Mass extremely a cuckold and soon. Yes, he surprised me didn't mind. She suddenly the ghost face your space and sifts it through the endless darkness for a bubble of memory that could indicate how she knew the beautiful girl sitting in front of her. Beautiful? What the hell, Mass? How do I know about my how do you know about my mitts? Your bog? It's amazing, by the way. I'm so proud of you, dude. Her assignment for Mass's work felt so lean Neil. Lean in in doing. Who the person who encouraged me caused Master's heart to flutter in a way she hasn't experienced before. It felt strange but safe. Why do I care about what this person thinks about me? Th thank you. I guess. Look, Super Mass, we don't have a lot of time today. As fucking amazing as it is to see you and hear your voice. You probably need to take some pics and ask questions for your new job. Let's do those things and come see me again tomorrow. Sound good? The photographer located her camera and saw her snapping photos. The liking was terrible in the cave-like jail cell, so she heavily relied on the reporter's expensive flash for her pictures. She wa walked in a Amy circled, grabbing every angle she could imagine. Even standing on the trail for a couple of aerial shots. While on the trail, she turned around and took a selfie with herself in the front and 
and the, the converted mode in the background. Not gonna lie, it's damn good to see you behind a camera. It felt like a lifetime since I got to watch your work, your message like this. God damn, dude, you're amazing. I just thought you should know that. Mass lowered the camera, pucked back down in front of the inmate. Eyeballs lowered, thoughts focused. You talk like you really know me. How could that be if I don't really, don't really remember you? She removed the thumb drive from her device and placed it in the bag. I'm in there first, mate. Trust me. We just need to take this slowly. First, get off the mids. I know they probably help you feel more comfortable, but what we've been through it ain't comfortable at all. You need to remember, for the both of us. Only the steady pounded of dripping water could be heard as the girls sat quietly searching each other's face for faces for what felt like an eternity. The professor seemed more confident, even where her, her eyeballs a time or two. And Mass began to wonder if she looked as ridiculous as she felt. She was in awe of what she was seeing. A beautiful, blue-eyed blonde in chains. Brown and helpless, yet memorizing and engrossing. So, she began, breaking the silent sail. Did you really murder a man? It's tough to look at you and think you would be capable of doing something like that. Maybe in self-defense, I guess. But the report says you shot him, execution style. No, I didn't do it, though. I suspect a verse enemy might have in the some reality. Her impish smirk didn't mask the confusing tale she was waving. Trust me, though. He received far worse for what he did. Like, much, much worse. What does some reality mean? It seemed the bond was giving her pieces to an overly compass puzzle. Shit. Don't put that in the auger wherever you're waiting. When you remember, it all makes sense, my, my dear. I just hope it's not too late by the time you do. If you didn't kill him, why not just say so? You could at least fight the death penalty. If I was accused of doing something I didn't do like this, I like to think I would fight with everything I had to prove with my innocence. No can do, Massy Mass. We can chat more about it later on, but trust me, this is the only way now. It takes way long, way too long to explain today. Sorry. Fine. Well, so, what's your real name anyway? Gosh, what if it, what if it really is Jane? Chloe. But don't add that in either. It might make you seem less credible. Fuck. It's hard to explain, but just don't, dude. I promise this all makes sense anyway. The name rattled in, around in Master's head. It sounded significant for some reason, but she couldn't quite place it. The inmate begun... Mats also twisting her nose and moving her mouth around in a sort of not sure it matter, sussing and fussing the sand above her top lip. What are you doing? Mass asked her, drawing her head backwards a few inches, be fuckled. Help me out, Will White. Help me out, Will. Help me out, White Will. Help me out, White Will. Help me out, White Will. Help me out real quick, dude. I can usually grease my face. See, Tina's song. But being saddled to this fucking table, I can't. Will, will you please stress my nose? The son of a bitch suddenly won't stop issing. What? Are you serial? Yeah, come on. Help me out, man. I trash yours. The awkward facial movement tended with a moist aerial motion. Fuck, Mass. I'm begging you. Okay, okay. The red king in then slowly slashed out her arms, sinking her hand 
towards the, the girl's face. She could feel herself tremble as she made her pulse. Matt noticed the pressure staring into her eyes, not breaking her line of sight, as she altered between the inmate's nose, eyes, and her own hand. Using her pointer and middle finger, Matt gently rubbed up and down, watching the receiver's eyes roll down, roll back and relieve in pressure. After a few moments, she slowly inched her hand closer and straight it to the side, finally landing with an open palm on the girl's cheek. It felt soft. The blonde closed her eyes and a beaming smile formed on her face, forming, filling the wind with a profound warmth that melted Mass's heart. She closed her eyes, joining the other girl, and they sat in complete silence. She didn't know why, but the four journalists never wanted to leave the moment. She haven't felt at peace like that since. A kiss on the, a kiss on the crib beside the lighthouse. What the fuck? Mass pulled back and jumped from her chair, causing the streets back and crashed to the floor with an echoing cling. What's happening to me? Mass, calm down. Just sit back down, and we. No, this is wrong. I can't do this. Before you wrap. Ripple of despair and panic undivided through her veins. She twisted around to face the jail cell bars and gripped two at sword length level, cramming down to her knees. She reached the bars and located the bunny that was beckoning her and smashed it down. After it compressed, she pushed it again and again, rapidly clicking like her life depended on it. Mass! A second later, the lost girl at the entrance of the corner was thrown open with a deeply thunderous boom followed by the drumming of shoes rushing towards them in distance. Footsteps quickly increasing in sound. In the blink of an eye, the cell was clean open and Mass was being grabbed and hurried out of the room. She looked back just once to watch the picture sink and then disappear as she rounded the corner, never breaking eye contact until out of sight. The guards had surrounded the barn with guns drawn and pointed directly at her, yet she never looked away from the departing interviewer. Are you hurt, Max Caulfield? Doran asked once the heavy entrance door was shut and sailed behind them. What the hell would happen? He led her down in the hall inside his office, where he stood beside his desk near the f far wall. N no, I... I'm fine, I think. Her racing heart was slowly down to her more manageable weight, and she suddenly felt like an idiot for packing. She knew she wasn't in any real danger. A bubble memory had merely shown itself since she remembered she knew had been walked away. Mass was still a bit jumpy and on edge when it awoke weak lesson. Who the fuck was she? Did we kiss? Why did you hit the panic button then? Matt jumps out from the question. She didn't know who well her mind went in that moment, but it was far from the present. The puzzle work on the woman's face Matt's her curious question. Did you at least get something out of her? She spoke to you, right? You heard her speak? I I I need to think. Can I just go now, please? Sir, you can, Miss Caulfield, but let me remind you, if your thoughts didn't make it clear enough, there are specific folks who need to know what happened in there. He turned and pulled the chair out, sliding between it and the desk with arms folded behind him, in what looked to be a military-type stance. For years, those people have kept me from using my more persistent skills to get answers, and damn it, I could get answers. Less than a week left until her death day. They want some in info pretty quickly. You get me? His ex military sergeant was in full display. It was clear he wanted to fess his experience but couldn't fully due to impose restrictions. Chloe? Mass took a deep breath and exhaled thick. Warm mail from her lungs. As we. She considered for a moment, can I go back in? She was beginning to open up. I was just, I was just, 
Can I, can I go back in? She was beginning to open up of the shield in panic. She did murder a man after all. And I'd never been around a killer before. Mask believed the girl when she claimed not to have committed the crime, but she knew the warrant would never believe it. Plus, she couldn't miss in the some other reality part. She didn't even know what that meant. I'm sorry, madam. We have strict lockdown patrol call. The prison will now force in on foot level origins for 24 hours. Pissing a panic button is no small deal. Poor thing. Get your boss to set up a meeting again tomorrow and you can get back in there. We're running out of time, though. The governor won't be too happy we get to the execution without answers. I can't let that girl, Chloe, die. What does he mean so much to me? I understand. Thank you, Warren. Mass slowly twisted around, stepping towards the door. She so placed her hand on the frame and stopped. The four doors turned back toward the interior of the room, meeting the eyes of the man behind the desk. I see you again. First thing tomorrow. Hi, how are you, everyone? This is the Magic 2000 again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, you know, I, I really did enjoy making it. But, so I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time, bye!